this is year two for you, and and obviously defense last year was ranked number one in total defense. Obviously, you have several members of last year's defense that have returned, and actually four of the team captains are on the defensive side of the ball. So with, with that experience returning and from the first three games, uh, have you seen the players play more reactionary to the defensive schemes or, or and, and less thinking about their assignments? I don't know if uh, – I think from a from – a, uh, a reactionary standpoint, I would say this. I'd say that that uh, uh, we've we've probably been in situations that that maybe we weren't put in at times last year early on, and uh, we probably encompassed a a, a, a much larger uh, you know call sheet. And I think the guys have, have have done a pretty good job you know early on of of uh, you know getting in position to, to make plays. But there's some times where we, we've got to do a little bit better job of, of you know, getting all on the same page. Um, so if you take a play here or there out, you know, outstanding, you know, but you can't do that defensively. You got to be consistent and in, in, in lining up and, and, uh, and making sure everybody's on the same page. Um, I think that uh, I think this last ball game, I was really impressed with how we played the, the, the first half with our, with our starters. And then if, again, if you go back and, and do that thing you can't do, if you take out a, uh, a play or two in that uh, second half, I was really impressed with, uh, with some of our backups as well, you know, getting in and, and uh, uh, you know, performing at a level that, that, uh, that, that impressed me. Um, you know, would I like to, 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 to be able to coach a, a technique a little bit better before some of those plays? Yes. As we go on, I think this is a defense that will continue to get better and better. Um, and we talk an awful lot about, uh, hey, last year's gone. This is this is just this year's team. There's guys that 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 played for us last year that are gone. So let's let's uh, let's make sure that that we're moving forward right now and uh, putting our own stamp on on this year's defense for this season. Great and. And it's really interesting to see an outside linebacker the size of Malcolm Morrison, I think about 5'10", 190, uh, even at the collegiate level. Uh, but he fits in perfectly in your 3-4 defense. But he came in in 2018, his 2018 commit as a cornerback, defensive back. Can you talk about the transition that he has had to make from a defensive back to outside linebacker? I don't think, a, I don't think it's a big transition. I think that outside linebacker, for me, has been – any number of different uh, sizes and, and uh, the skill set that, that you possess has got to be one where you can play in space a little bit better than you can play uh, in the box. And I think that's what uh, Malcolm possesses, uh, whether he's, you know, you know, 200 pound guy or, or whether he's a 240 pound guy, irrelevant. It's the guy that, that, uh, that, that can give us a skill set that, that takes away, um, you know, different uh, different type of receivers and and uh, and plays that they may want to go to out there to the field, and Malcolm does give us the, the ability to to rush the passer. Uh, he's got great quickness, uh, does a great job of timing up his blitzes, and takes great angles to uh, to the quarterback. And then uh, they also does a really good job in, in coverage out there when we ask him to do that, uh, whether he's lining up against uh, a uh, you know a slot receiver. Or if teams like to put a tight end out there and uh, or go big, he, he, he can cover down on those guys as well. So just uh, great versatility with with Malcolm and what he gives us for our, our defense. And then to be honest with you, I think uh, you know, we, we're, we're starting to create a little bit more depth at, uh, at that position as well. I think Jimmy Charlo is, is, a, is a guy that, that's really picking up uh, you know, from a technique standpoint and understanding how to fit in the defense. And then uh, – yeah, I think Darren McDonald has, has done some good things out there uh, in, in previous games as well. Great. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Sure. Hey, Coach. Ken Kreitzer, SAL Radio. Good afternoon. I just want to ask – yeah, just wanted to ask you, uh, Miami's played two different quarterbacks, uh, Brett Gabbert, uh, two games. A.J. Myers has been in all three games. 
Uh, they've been passing for about 213 yards. Uh, what do you see in their quarterback play? Uh, is there, are they doing the showing you two looks or is there one quarterback you expect to play? You know, I don't really get into what the quarterbacks do as, as much as what, uh, how we react defensively in, in our play calls. Uh, just like last week, uh, it could have been any number of, of guys that, that would have stepped up and, and, and played the quarterback position against us. And, uh, and I thought the guys did a great job of, of adjusting to the, the plays that, that, that we were seeing uh, out, of, uh, out of the freshman quarterback. Uh, I thought the guys did a great job of, of, you know, without preparing for a specific quarterback, just, you know, reading, diagnosing plays and, and, and playing fast. And, uh, you know, that's what, that's what we got to do every week. So uh, what plays that, that, uh, that certain quarterbacks run may be, uh, may be a little bit different in, in some schemes, may be the same in others. So all we're going to do is, is call defenses that, that, uh, that we feel like fit the certain situation and just uh, go from there. And, and I think the guys have, have, uh, have done a nice job of that. When you look at Miami, uh, what do you look at as far as their running game? They've been getting about 167 yards a game. Uh, what, what do you see uh, in, in the challenges in the running game? I think generally we stop the run pretty well. Uh, most teams that we play against, uh, uh, we hold them below their average in, in the run game. And I feel like if we can do that against Miami, you know, we'll, have, uh, we'll have a good shot at, uh, at winning the football game. If they run the football successfully against us, then, uh, then we'll be in some third and, and uh, uh, run or pass downs. And that, uh, uh, you know, from a balance standpoint, that, that, that gives the offense the, the, the advantage. So if we, can, uh, if we can do a good job stopping the run game and getting them behind in the sticks, I think we, uh, uh, we give ourselves a, a better opportunity to win. Thanks, Coach. Sure. Hey, Nate. Uh, Ken McMillan from the record. Hey, Ken. Um, you, you know, obviously in college football, you're going to face different teams in different weeks and different styles. How do you like the versatility of how your defenders, uh, match up with these teams? I think we're still, we're still growing as a defense. I think that we match up in, in some areas a, a little better than others. And each, each day in practice, we get more and more reps. We get a little bit smarter, a little bit, a little bit better at, at certain skill sets. And, uh, and as long as, as, as I've been coaching, you know, the, the defenses that, that continue to grow and continue to get better throughout the season, you know, those were, those were years that, that, uh, that you were really happy with, uh, with your season. Uh, just like, uh, you know, last year, I, I didn't think we're, we're nearly as good at the beginning of the season as we were at the end. And, uh, you know, that's a, that's a testament to, to uh, a great group of guys that, that, that worked their, their rear ends off, you know, trying to get better every week. And, and they did. They, 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 were, they were playing their best football, I thought, uh, by the end of the season. That's what we shoot for this year. And, uh, you know, we, we've left ourselves some, some room for improvement in some areas, and, and we'll, we'll continue to improve in, in that. But, uh, but if we're playing our, our, our best defense you know, at, uh, at the end of the season and just getting better and better and better as we go. I think, uh, I think this will be a great, uh, great season for us. Can you give us uh, an update on how you guys are doing health-wise on defense? Um, I, don't, I don't think it's a whole lot different than, than uh, we'll probably banged up a, a, an awful lot during, uh, during camp. And, and there's a lot of younger guys that, that we wanted to get more reps for uh, during camp. That, that didn't get those reps. You know, uh, Austin Hill was out uh, with, with some injuries, you know, early on, and, and, and he's catching up a little bit now with, uh, you know, with a position change from linebacker to defensive line and, and, and trying to catch on to uh, the, the nuances of, of, uh, of a new position. Uh, Spencer Jones is a guy that, that was out a ton, you know, during the spring and, and, and camp and, and uh, you know, it's coming back and catching up to the speed of the game and, and getting better and better. Um, and there's, there's others that, that, uh, that have some, have had some injuries that, that uh, been banged out and been out a little bit, but um, you know, I, I think as we go into this ball game, um, we'll probably, you know, our, our defensive line is, is, uh, uh, is where we're trying to add more depth 
and we'll we'll probably need that uh, this ball game, and uh, you know still looking to to add a little bit more uh, depth at, at the uh, the secondary position for uh, for some of our packages. So to answer your question, uh, we we do have some some uh, you know some guys that that, that we got to take care of as far as injuries and will they be available to us in this ball game? I don't know yet. Uh, you know, we're still trying to see if, if, uh, if they're going to be healed enough to, to uh, step in and, and, and play. A, cor <clears throat> a corollary to that question. Uh, the fact that you're, uh, that you guys played reserves practically the entire second half and even into the second quarter. Um, are you a believer that uh, uh, getting these guys some time off the field and not banging each other? will help you out. Do you feel like the team will be a little bit, quote, fresher this week? I think it's a long season. And, uh, you know, from one game to the next, I don't, it, it might make just an incremental difference, you know, for, for guys as far as being fresh, but, but not, uh, not as much as, as the long haul of, of the whole season. So being able to get, uh, you know, more reps for defensive linemen, who are, are hitting the hardest the most number of times is uh, is is my first priority. That's that's where I'd like to have the, the most depth that that, uh, that we can have. Um, at the uh, at, in the secondary, you know, the, the the more depth that you have, the more packages and, and things that you can do uh, from a nickel or a dime or or just uh, you know different stuff like that. <clears throat> Gives you the ability to to give quarterbacks different looks and and uh, and try to do different things. So, um, you know, just we're, we're working some some things in practice that that uh, that I think will give us a uh, you know a good chance. We'll see by by today and tomorrow if some of those guys will be ready from a standpoint of uh, of injury. And, we'll and just one one local that. one local question. Uh, do you know how uh, Terry Rafferty of Newburgh is uh, doing? You know how you guys are using him and such. Right now, is just still uh, still trying to to uh, uh, catch up on on some assignment things like that. Working a little bit more with uh, with our scout team and and uh, you know I, I love getting guys down there going against uh, you know that offense because there's a there's a toughness that that uh, that you develop going against that type of offense. And the speed that the offensive linemen come off the ball is is uh, is outstanding, you know. So being able to to get off blocks quickly is something that uh, you know. Whenever we get to rotate guys down there to our, our that scout team and and get looks against that uh, that offense, it's uh, it's valuable to us. And I think that's something that uh, that that he's putting under his belt right now and and, and learning and getting better and better. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Nate. Sure. Hey, Coach, how are you? Good. Hey, um, what have you seen in the play of corners, um, Isaiah Morris and Cam Jones, early in the season? Well, I, I think they're they're uh, doing a great job of of what uh, and what we're asking them to do. <clears throat> There's still some some room for improvement at at, at times, and and uh, uh, you know, and you see in practice, there, there's, uh, there's, there's glimpses of, of, you know, physical play. There's, there's, uh, there's times where, you know, they're making some pass breakups and, and stuff like that, but just like everybody else, we, what we want is, is, uh, even more consistency in, uh, you know, some of our techniques and, and, uh, you know, finishing some plays and, uh, you know, those guys have, have given us some great looks, made some really good plays for us. And we'll continue to do so and continue to get better. So I, yeah, I really like uh, like those guys. We'll do a few more. Times. Are you seeing that you have to um, game plan more for offenses, noticing um, Andre a little bit more in the pass rush? Are you are you having to do a little bit more with him, or are you, are you going to have to do a little bit more with him in, in these next next few games? Um. I think Andre is a guy that, that is so versatile. You want to take advantage of, of, of as many, uh, you know, talents and, and uh, uh, just a smart football player. He knows every position up front, uh, you know, on the defensive line and, and uh, you know, that uh, outside linebacker position for the dog. And, and then some of our uh, other packages, he knows all the, all the, the uh, assignments for each one of those positions. So, can he can he do all of that? Yes. Do we need to to move him around a little bit? 
Eh, it just that just depends on um, you know, what we got planned that week. And uh, you know, for for Andre, you know, I, I've said this before. I'll say it again. He's a guy that can drop in coverage really well, um, whether it's zone or or uh, you know playing you know some type of bracket on on someone. And he's also a guy that that uh, uh, can rush the passer really well. You know, he's he's. Uh, he probably would have had a few more sacks you know, to his total if if we'd done a little bit better job of of uh, you know developing our our uh, pass rush lanes to to eliminate the quarterback from escaping, and uh, we continue to work with that on on our guys and and uh, you know, when we get better at that, I think you'll see even more sacks out of uh, out of Andre. But uh, uh, can he move around in, in in a number of different positions? Absolutely, no doubt. He's got the skill set to do it and the, uh, the mental capacity to do it as well.